Hey guys, good evening, welcome to Amsterdam, 25th of March, Friday evening. Amsterdam is getting crowded and meanwhile I'm choosing uh, more peaceful places like this one. This beautiful bridge is an entrance to an artificial island. There are three artificial islands in this area. They are called uh, Westelijk Island in Dutch. Westelijk Western Islands, that means. Hi, this is Murat. How we are doing? Well, and have a great weekend, everyone. We are very close to Harlemer Butte, Harlemer Dyke. You know Harlemer Strat and Harlemer Dyke. This is just walking distance from here. Also, Amsterdam Central Station is only 20 minutes walking away from this peaceful area. Despite it's in the middle of the centrum, next to Harlemer Strat and Harlemer Dyke, still it's very cozy, peaceful, and such a serene atmosphere and a lot of historical buildings in this area. Those islands were built in 17th century uh, in Dutch Golden Age. Hello Bill, Daniel, Andreas, Bora, Tibor. Good to see you all. Thanks a lot. We will have a like 30 minutes walking tour probably uh, in the islands. This is the first island. That one is Princeton Islands, Prince Islands. The name comes from uh, Dutch royal family. And it's almost sunset at seven o'clock. It's sunset here. Look at this beauty. We are not far away from Amsterdam Central Station. I just walked like 20 minutes to come here before sunset and that side is sunset area the Wester Park site Oops. it's very close <laughs> so the west is over there the Wester Park area is at that direction and this side is Harlemer Strat and Harlemer Dyke that way is Amsterdam Central Station and the Romania Antony have a good weekend, nice Friday. And the train line is right over there. I'm gonna tell you some information about these islands, artificial islands, like many other artificial uh, places in the Netherlands because the Netherlands is, you know, a country always fight with the water. There are always floats, uh, floats in the history and they always create some spaces to live in. Uh, many places in Amsterdam, they are under sea level. So sometimes they fill the canals, sometimes they open canals and sometimes, sometimes they build extra windmills, water turbines to control the water. So this is the centrum of Prinzen Island. Prinzen Island. This is currently a residential area in Dutch Golden Age when the Netherlands uh, became richer because of the colonies and discoveries in Asia and also North America. The, the shipyards became more important for Amsterdam and they built this, those three artificial islands for having an extra shipyard area and for some other places for merchants. There is also a similar one in the east side, uh, Easter Dock area. And as you see, those are high buildings. They don't, they don't look like residential buildings. In the past, they were built as warehouses, like storage places for the goods. It was a port here 
a shipyard and they were building ships and they were storing the goods like uh, coffee, grain, wine and some other goods also. Look at that, those are... Take a look into the windows. Let me show you closer. Wait a second. Hello Tibor. Oops, sorry, not Tibor. Tomisan Echi. <laughs> Mert Selam. As you see, the windows are open and big and wide because they were uh, getting the goods into the storage rooms from that windows. And that side is the water area. For like, uh, imagine that there were ships and boats over this area. And right in front of the storage rooms, they were uh, exchanging the trays. Nowadays, I mean, until the Second World War, as I remember, they were used as storage rooms and warehouses until the Second World War. After that, for a while, it was an empty area. But then it became a hot spot for artists. And uh, there are some little parks like this all over the island. Look at the beauty of this little boat. It's a home. And there is a garden. There's a dock over there. Beautiful. This is still Princeton, Princeton Island. You will go to the next island from here, Tiboriki. <laughs> it's true. You see, even this side, the same style uh, storage room buildings. And I, I have seen a, an interesting uh, sculpture. Let me see insulin the well, this building is from 1629. There are beautiful architecture and plates on the walls. And look at that. That means in Dutch, in English, the meaning is to love. Lachen. In that area, that might be the most beautiful storage room, probably. There is a restaurant here, I just seen, in this little alley. You can get into a restaurant, Corin, Corin Drachers Hank. Now, one thing I, I forgot to tell you about that, most of the products stored in the warehouses, they were herring, herring fish. As you can imagine, those are the things in these restaurants, flatbed wraps, and the uh, bowl, Vega bowl, it, it seems a vegetarian options restaurant and also Lavazza Italy coffee. Nice. Another beautiful old Dutch architecture, here it is. Oops, sorry for the zoom and shaky camera. Another bridge is here. This is a more important bridge, bridge all over this area because it's called Drieharingenbrug. That means Three Herring Fish Bridge. Three Herring Fish Bridge and it's very old. It's from 17th century. However, this is a new one. Uh, I think it was demolished in the past and in 19 or 18 something they built this uh, three herring fish bridge but according to the archives there was a bridge here even in 1725 if I remember correct <laughs> hello Melo family Brazil is here Let's take a look around. 
So with this bridge we are getting into Rayland what was that Rayland Island Rayland Island Island So as I mentioned before the Prince Island Prince and Island the one we just walked away uh, the name derived from uh, uh, I mean it's named after Dutch royal family William Orange, I think. I mean, all the princes. This realm, I check about some documents, and it's uh, it's the name of a person, but it's not known that why they give the that people's surname to this island. It's very cozy and peaceful, as you see, whenever you come here in daytime or nighttime, at this time, weekend, weekday, whatever, always peaceful, uh, nice ambience. And the best thing is it's not far away from Amsterdam city centre, only 20 minutes walking distance. So it's a popular area for the people who wants to live nearby the centrum. It's a popular and probably nowadays expensive because of that. On the top we can see the name of the bridge, Three Herringenbrug, Three Herring Fish. Michelle, if I can find, <laughs> I will do it of course. Hello Thailand. Hello Steve. Steve's PlayStation is here also. Well, not sure, Alan Gibbon, my knowledge about this is limited. Sorry. Okay, which way to go? Let me check the map. So decide the destination. We passed the bridge. All right. We'll turn right, so we will see the other island on the way after a few minutes walking. Hello, boy. <laughs> There's a little child here, so I said hello. But I don't show her on the video. Okay, hello. Good to see you here, David. Good evening. A boat house, here it is. Oh, look at that. I said boat house, but it's National Police Building, Rags Polity. What a beautiful police station. Have you ever seen a police station like this? <laughs> this is the police station in Dutch Way, a boat house. Let's move on. Oh, your cousin, Steve. How nice. Let me show you some more beautiful view to the canal side. There it is. Oh wow! <laughs> Hi. I think I shared all the information I know about these islands, so from now on. I will not talk much or I will talk about some other things. <laughs> so as you see, I have limited information, very basic about this area. But every day I learn something new. Another beautiful boat is over there with some lightnings. 
Hey Sharon, welcome. I hope your brownies are still alive. Let's take a look around slowly. By the way, the temperature is around 12 Celsius. It's pretty good for the Netherlands. At this month, at this day, I mean 25th of March, it could be still freezing, by, but next week, I heard that uh, the temperature will go down like 10 Celsius. But uh, tomorrow is the best day. Tomorrow it will be like 17 Celsius and full sun. So I will record a lot of videos tomorrow. Also, we will have a live walking tour in the afternoon. Not in Amsterdam, but another city. Good news. That's great. Another beautiful building is here. A company building probably in the past. A warehouse, I mean. And we will turn right here to move to the other island. Oh, the view is so good here. Look at that. It's a great Friday evening, peaceful. Not a crazy Amsterdam Centrum city atmosphere. Let me show you around slowly. And uh, on our left, another beautiful bridge. Let me see what it's called. I think Bickers Bridge. Bickers, because the other island, the one we will go through soon, is Bicker Island. Oh, look at that. Going to do sunset. Hey, David, hello. Yes, Andreas is so good, this area. And the best thing is it's only five minutes, maybe three minutes from Harlemer Dyke and Harlemer Sass. So the, all the restaurants, coffee shops, bars are just two, uh, two or three minutes distance by walking. Let's go through this bridge and explore the third island. You know, we have a short video today, already 18 minutes, and I'm planning to complete it in like 30 minutes, hopefully. All good, David. Good to see you here. Have a nice Friday. Sebastian, thanks so much. The weekend will be busy, by the way. Tomorrow I will do a bike tour and I will share it next week. And a 360 video later to be shared next week also. And then live stream walking tour in another town or city. I haven't decided yet. And on Sunday, we will visit the winner of the pool. We made a pool. Okay, for YouTube members and Patreon supporters, we made a poll on our YouTube community page. And uh, I will visit the city or town, wherever they choose. Uh, the options were Delft, Zanseskans, uh, Volendam, Hauda, and I don't know if there's another one. But uh, it seems the winner will be Delft. So probably Sunday we can visit Delft. But Saturday, I don't know. Saturday I will decide tomorrow morning. 
and tomorrow the weather is so good I will choose the place wisely Bickers, this is Bickers Island the name comes, comes from a wealthy merchant so her name is Bickers, Bickers family I think they built this island because of that they give the name of the island with their name, with their surname such a beautiful area another beautiful garden next to the water and a, a gaming area there's a table tennis here a basic one, but a good one strong and a basketball it's a great uh, residential area with lots of artworks and there's a uh, sign over there I think there are many birds live here Tommy San, good news. That's a great news. Uh, it's so flexible. I wish I will do the same. So you can travel to the Netherlands and work from here and stay as much as you want. Another former warehouse. Currently they are residential because they are big buildings and they were separated later. to provide some space to the families from warehouse buildings five pm to one am all right you cannot drink Tommy Sanj here <laughs> only bitter ball and snacks but no alcohol during working times hey Miriam have a great day, welcome. Canada is here. There are so many beautiful houses on this island. I don't know which one I should show. Look at that. Mm, I don't know what is this building. This is the Deeran couple, chapel or couple. It's a, I read something about this. I think it's a voluntary organ, organization, uh, animal zoo, something like that. Not zoo, but uh, they are taking care of some different animals like goat, and a rabbit, chicken. It's like a neighborhood volunteer project, something like that. They are taking care of some different animals in that park. Kleine Bickerstraat, the little one. Let me check, should we go more? Okay, that's great. And, well, if we go this way, we are going to the point we started, but I will follow left, so we can see some other things until the end, until the train lines. Railway. Byron, thank you. Welcome. 
Hello. Portable bank is here. As you see, many house owners in the Netherlands, they put a chair or bank in front of a house, not only for themselves, also for the guests. If you walk around, you can just sit and enjoy the view, or you can get some rest. In some banks, even there is a letter, please sit and enjoy, but do not leave your garbage, something like that. Paul Morris, good evening. Hi. Community gardens is a correct word, I think, correct phrase. Hello, Hamburg, Batan. Miriam, congratulations. I've just seen that. Let's see what we have. We have a nice button here. Wow, look at that. First time I used it. Miriam, that's for you. Nice. <laughs> You really need a bike if you live around this neighborhood because it's uh, the fastest transportation between the Central Station or Harlemer Strat or Harlemer Plain Western Park. They are all close to this area. Other streets. I don't get into the inner streets, just uh, general tour around islands because there are many inner streets especially Princeton Islands there are many this is Brick Brick Islands I think it was Brick if I remember correct hello Pablo Argentina is here What's that? This is an, I think it's an elevator. A view. Good evening, Torren. Right, let's continue to our walk. Our last 10 minutes, probably. Cali Fox, Fox. Thanks for your feedback. The eyes are starting. This is an interesting building. It was a big company building, probably. Look at the top. It's pretty high. Among the buildings we have seen so far, that's the highest one. Bickerskracht, Bickerskanal.
Let's take a look to the wheel. Oh yeah, that's good. The best view we have seen today. The best time and the best location today. The camera is not turning automated, I'm turning it slowly. <laughs> Just for you. Thanks so much, Mark. Uh, Miriam, actually, it's not a station. This area is between Amsterdam Central Station and Amsterdam Sloterdijk Station, I think. This is like an under garage. I don't know. Uh, some, oh, it's like, uh, how to say, there are stores, dance, uh, uh, salons or some other uh, companies they hire these uh, small warehouses and they use it for their businesses oh there is a homeless uh, bat here uh, this yeah this is the the most famous bar in this area as I read they're very friendly Cozy environment and the best bar, blue, the blue something, I can't remember it and I can see that. Drink, eat and music, it says. So this is the main square. Underground mall, similar, similar. Oh, there is also a small library, public library is here. It's like there are small uh, stores until the central station area. Some of them are artist uh, stores or some of them are some other art, art things, decoration, accessories, shops, etc. Oh. Here it is, Tussen de Bogen. Between the Bogen, I can't remember what the Bogen means, but Tussen means between. So there are many company stores here. Let's take a look at Bizarre Design, Textile Design, Sports Studio, uh, Bookings, Travel Company, it seems, uh, Fitz Taxi, Bicycle Taxi Company, Consulting Company, Advisory Company, another Dance for Your Paul. Paul Dance Studio and a beautiful tunnel to go there. Wow. Alright, we are back to Amsterdam Centrum. Which way to go? Let's cross to the other side. I think their rental prices are cheaper. Probably there is a government support or municipality support there. We are in Harlem neighborhood still, but we left the islands as of now. We are out of islands. And we are pretty close to Harlem Dyke. Ukraine support.
Okay, this is Harlem or Dyck. We're back to Harlem or Dyck. Actually, I was planning to finish it, but let's go until the next corner. Till the beginning of Harlem or Strat. At the bridge, I'm gonna stop the video. Our last five minutes together. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this little cozy tour. Instead of Amsterdam Centrum, today I showed uh, a hidden spot, hidden place close by to the Centrum. And a special area, most of the visitors of Amsterdam do not aware of that. Because it's a bit out of the main routes, main touristic routes. Uh, yes, starry nights, funk of blues tonight. Hello, Marta, Marta. Well, they sing a Turkish song. <laughs> Sorry, Bill McMath. Today it's gonna be a shorter. I will keep my energy for the weekend. Weekend will be busy. Look at that. There is a missing girl, Sylvia. 160, 50 kilo, 24 years old, last seen Western Park, Amsterdam, 19 March, around 10 o'clock. They are looking for her just the, a day before the girl has missed, and uh, I made a video in Western Park uh, Festival, the fair. In Western Park Fair, I had uh, made a video, and just a day later, uh, this woman go get uh, missed. So they are looking for her. And yesterday, one of her friends uh, made a comment about that when I recorded that video. So I mentioned about it a day before, unfortunately. So my video was useless for this occasion. Hopefully, they can find. So. Tomorrow's destination is secret, Miriam. I share with YouTube members and Patreon supporters only. But it will not be Amsterdam. Thanks so much. That's all for today. We will say goodbye to each other with this view. In distance, we see Prinzenkracht and Wester Toren. Wester Church is over there. Thank you. Don't forget to like. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Good evening. You too. Have a nice weekend. Thank you so much. Hey, Tibor. Tibor One is here. Thank you so much. Pablo, see you. Mike, see you. Thank you. Andreas Tomisan, bye bye. Ebonim, bye bye. <laughs>